Hello, how are you? This video is about traditional Russian shawls and you will see a few unusual ways how you can wear them as a headscarf in winter. I have this beautiful original Pavlova Passat wool shawl and I wear it a lot. And I expect a parcel from Russia with more scarf like this. By the way, if you like this kind of scarves, I have a video on how to choose them because there is a lot of fakes and you pay for polyester instead of wool. And I will link that video at the end of this video. If you don't know me yet, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel How to Tie a Scarf. And now let's tie our scarf. First, fold your scarf in the form of a triangle. Cover your head like this. Fix it behind with a pin or with a clamp like this. Bring the ends forward. Now wrap your head with one end, forming some nice folds. Now cover it with the other end. Tuck it under your scarf. You have this Egyptian form. Next, bring all the ends on one side, forming some nice folds. Wrap your neck and fix your scarf with a pin. The sharp end should always look downwards and outside. This style is very warm. You have six layers of wool scarf. For the second style, shift the middle of your scarf on one side, like this. Cross the ends behind, placing the longest end on the top of the cross. Bring the ends forward. Make sure your front is covered with a scarf. Now take the long end and wrap your head like this. If you like this kind of scarves, I will leave some links in the description to some lovely Pavlova Passat wool shawls on Etsy. Hide it inside and tie it with a small end. Form a crown. I just fold this part like this. It will help to keep the shape better. You are ready. This style looks so Russian to me. For the third style, wrap your head with a long end. Bring all ends on one side and braid them. Also, you can fix two ends with scrunchie first for added security and then braid them. By the way, if you like scarves, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications. Also, you can just bring all ends on one side and fix them like this. By the way, to see part 1 of this video, check the link in the description and I will link 
it at the end of this video too. Which style do you like most? If you want to know more on traditional Russian scarves and how to choose them, you may want to watch these videos too. Subscribe, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below what kind of video tutorial you would like to see. I hope to see you soon. Bye!